and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shadow Wraiths. Going to be our first deck today. We got four donation decks. We got four viewer submitted decks that we're going to be playing today. We got some spice. Uh, this first one is going to be a deck built around Fearsome and uh, Mist Wraiths. We have um, our regular Mist Wraiths. We have our Wraith Caller putting in Mist Wraiths, and we also have Risen Mist. So we have a complete Shadow Isles deck, all 40 coming from Shadow Isles, so we'll never miss our Allegiance ability, so that's good. We also have three Chronicler of Ruins in here that um, is going to be used to uh, be able to kill Wraith Caller and revive it and put another Mist Wraith into play. So Chronicler of Ruin, uh, when you have a Wraith Caller in play, Chronicler of Ruin basically turns into Wraith Caller, because it'll be a 3-3 that'll bring a Mist Wraith into play also. So we're going to be pairing up all these Fearsome Mist Wraiths with some Fearsome Spiders. We have Arachnoid Horror, Elise, and Frenzied Skitter. So we got some good friend, uh, Fearsome Spiders there. We got Fearsome Nightfall with Stygian Onlooker. And then we have some good su support spells um, and Doom Beast to help drain it to be able to finish games out and some removal. And that's, that's our deck. That's what we got going on here. Um, just kind of looking at, at this... Um, I do kind of think that the, I'm not a big fan of the hapless aristocrat. I think out of all this stuff, I, I kind of like what we got going on here, but I'm not a big fan of the hapless aristocrat. I think I would, I would want precious pet in here, even though I know that three precious pet would ruin so you don't have a hundred percent allegiance, but it should still be good enough. I think that's what I would uh, do, but we're going to play the games and we're going to see how these hapless aristocrats do. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's get to it. So we're going to go play five games over in ranked Trying out all these uh, new, all four of these decks today are all going to be new decks for us to play. We're gonna try them all over in ranked and give them a, a good test right away. Hey, Darth Drew. Thank you, Jess. All right, we're going to mulligan these fading memories. Keep our two drops. I'm also not really too sure about the fading memories in the deck. Not sure if they're really that necessary. They do turn on Nightfall. But overall I kind of feel like just having another like one drop would be better. Come closer. I don't bite. We could use a bite. So it looks like a good deck for Nocturne. Um, yeah, I mean, Elise definitely is a better choice than Nocturne in here. Like, just curve considerations, everything. Like, Elise is really good. Um, I don't think that's saying anything bad about Nocturne, that Elise is better. Where, where you'd be able to maybe play Nocturne would be in the Chronicler of Ruin slot. This is, this is a card that could maybe be Nocturne. Gonna go ahead and play this before combat. I hope they don't have Ice Quake. Big Avalanche. Even small Avalanche, pretty annoying. But that's just the way it goes. So they block the 1-1, one, one, then we have Unspeakable Horror. I guess we'll do this and keep them from healing their Nexus for 1. Like, I could let them heal their Nexus for 1, get the Spider, and then kill the Spider. But, you know, they just heal their Nexus for 1, so why, why target the Spider when we can just target this thing? They have another one? Oh no, we're in a lot of trouble now. We are in a lot of trouble. That was a great turn. Avalanche, Vile Feast, Vile Feast. Yeah, now you level Now leading up with Trundle. We haven't haven't missed with our allegiance yet. So that's 
pretty good. So their only card that blocks Mist Wraith is Trundle. I'm certainly hoping for no troll chant. And I will be unsuccessful. Looks like they got this one. is definitely good against aggro, especially with this kind of hand that they've had. It's been awesome. Death itself can't stop me. This is gonna be fun. Not really going to be able to be out of um, atrocity range if, if they have all this stuff and then they also have atrocity. Second risen miss. Darn, I have this one one that's. Not quite lethal. But you never know. Maybe they don't have maybe they don't have another champion to finish the game out. Or anything like that. For the thrill of battle. Or they do. It is possible. So I'm, I'm grabbing this that maybe we could reset the Wraith Caller. It is possible we draw a Vengeance. Hmm. We do have one Withering Whale, one Vengeance at the top end. And I'm, I do kind of wonder if that should just be two Vengeance, not a Withering Whale and a Vengeance. Not one of each. It's another big overwhelm. GG's. So now this matchup is where we'd rather have... Like, this is the deck that we'd rather have Withering Whale against. And this is why we have one Withering Whale in the deck. I would assume. Um... We're going to mulligan the Doom Beasts. I'm just not mulliganing Wraith Caller. Oh no. These, then these all cost four. I can't play Risen Mist on turn three. Because the problem with Doom Beasts is I can't really play Doom Beast on turn three. And I would need to be able to play that card on turn three. That's the perfect start. We may just run into all opponents that have the perfect stuff today. That may be how it is. Oh, it is a great day for a All right, let's get rid of that. So we'll be going Arachnoid Horror next turn, and then Wraith Caller after that. So horror, horror to block Arena Battlecaster. 
Oh, come on, really? Maybe I should have grabbed Zonite Urchin. Please, I have connection. I'm surprised they challenged here. I thought they would challenge my 3-2 and not let me kill their Battlecaster. I'm surprised by that challenge, to be honest. If I would have grabbed Urchin, we would have been, you know, would have discarded like the Crescent Guardian and drawn a different card. I don't know, I guess like Hapless Aristocrat trades us something and gives us another body to just to keep helping out. I can't attack with Wraithcrawler and, and let them Spinning Axe block or anything like that. Now we're cooking. This is not Vision. At least yet. Whirling Death. I was kind of expecting them to, to cast a vision. So I blocked like this. I wanted to keep my Wraith Caller alive, but yeah, obviously Whirling Death means that they get to level up Draven. What's my name? Our opponents aren't aren't letting up. They're not giving us anything. Any any breathing room at all. Got axes, need victims. So the Draven has overwhelm. Puts me down to five. They can't make the super mega death rocket right now, at least. We may not actually lose this. I, I wrote it as 0 and 2, but we may not actually lose this. This game's not over. I can either Fading Memories the Doom Beast and play an Ephemeral Doom Beast and just drain them for 2 and go up to 4. Or I play 5-3 Crescent Guardian. So 5-3 Overwhelm Crescent Guardian. The Crescent Guardian will be better at, at attacking and killing them the next turn. But if they if they get a Get Excited, uh, which they've already played two Get Excited, right? Yeah, they've already played two Get Excited. So they'd have to draw another Jinx. So they're drawing two cards. Is this lethal with with doing the with uh, going with the Doom Beast? So that puts them down to seven um, with attacking. Like if they don't block with Jinx, well, I guess Jinx could block the three one. And then Draven blocked the 5 1 then here, so that's not lethal. So I guess we have to go this route of playing the Overwhelm. <laughs> this 
They just draw, get excited. Wow. That was their out. It's like nothing else would have really worked there. Could see keeping Stalking Shadows, but this should be another really fast matchup. I don't know. Twist it. It's Twisted Fate, not Misfortune, but still. I don't want to, like, early on, I don't want to spend two mana. So you're, say you're saying Fading Memories burst, then play it to drain, get it, and the Overwhelm on the board. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't give them one turn to play instead of attacking. I can't, if, okay, so yeah, you're saying that I could have just done that. Instead of instead of open attacking, I can't do that. If 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 I play anything before attacking, I automatically lose because they have two spinning axes in hand and they have a leveled up Jinx. All they have to do is disc even no matter what they draw, they just discard those two cards, get a super mega death rocket and kill me. So that's that's not an option. Playing playing anything before combat on my turn is not an option because we're just dead to super mega death rocket. They, even if they drew the two worst cards in their deck, they can just discard them with the spinning axes. Um, so the main question is, do we want to play Stygian Onlooker right here? Then it's just a 2-1. Probably not. I think I may just wait on it. Hey, there you go, Tippy Tips with the raid. Welcome everybody from Tippy Tips' stream. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, I guess it just passed. Hey, Rainbow. All right, so make it rain blows everything up, but so does twisted fate. You know, twisted fate blows everything up too. I would rather like if they have make it rain, like that's gonna blow everything up either way. But I don't, I don't want to walk into twisted fate. Powder keg make it rain is still too strong. Getting three, uh, three. Mystic shots for two mana. That's too good. There's nothing to fear. <laughs> Thanks, Tippy. Yeah, stream's going okay. We we ran into two very hot opponents having lots of great stuff. That egg. Did it move? Quite the dish, aren't you? And so now we're on opponent number three. I've had some good stuff so far. I don't think Chronicler of Ruin on Hapless Aristocrat is really worth much of anything. So, keeping their Petty Officer from being able to trade with my Elise. Always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. So young. And that's what they wanted to do last turn, Twisted Fate. That's why they kept on passing. They're waiting for me to play more stuff for them to uh, Twisted Fate. You won't suffer long. And yes, I'm attacking with this Spiderling because we're putting another Spiderling into play anyway. And yeah, we'll definitely trade a Spiderling for Petty Officer. We'll do that trade. No, Meme Tier is not only on Monday. We can do Meme Tier decks any time. 
but that's like the day that I that we definitely do meme tier decks. Looks like trouble. Um, I don't really want to give them plunder, but I don't really want to block, so I guess we give them plunder. Those are our two options. So I can reset the health of either the Frenzy Skitter or Elise. It's probably more important for Elise. Hey, Kenex. Safety will cost. I don't know. Um Oh, okay, anytime you see a mono region deck, you think it's a meme deck? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not necessarily the case. This rate's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, this would probably be a pretty good deck for a beginner, as it's just it's just a pretty straightforward. It's not going to be, like, one of the most powerful decks. Um... I'm not very good at answering that question, to be honest, of what's good for a beginner. I, I do feel like everybody's different. I feel like some people, you know, different people play different decks better or worse. Some people play control better, even if they're a beginner. Some people play aggro better even when they're a beginner. It's, it's I don't, I don't know. I'm not very good at answering that question. Maybe people in Twitch chat are. I'm just not too confident in answering that question. They can have Riptide Rex and then I lose, but I can't... It's going to be difficult to beat Riptide Rex. Just, just attacking out right there doesn't really do it. Okay. So Riptide Rex just you know kills everything. For the most part anyway. Um I didn't really consider this line before, but now what I wish I would have done is just gone to attacks and we wouldn't have killed them, but probably got a little bit of damage in. They play Riptide Rex, then I fading memories of the Riptide Rex, and then cast one back at them. That's what I now wish I would have done. I didn't really consider that at the time. But now I wish I would have done that. And we could fading memories, and so then I'm thinking, well, should, should we still fading memories the Riptide Rex? But you know, then they'll really know about it and really play around it, and it's just and that's going to be kind of too difficult, I think. But, you know, Riptide, Riptide Rex just wins the game. No, I didn't see that Sodium Umbrella. Yeah, Pirate Aggro. Yeah, Pirate Aggro is probably great for a beginner. Absolutely. Pir Pirate Aggro is just a great deck. That's the thing. It's like just playing the... You know, any of the tier 1 decks, I feel like, are probably good for beginners. Because they're all really good. But other people may think that Lee Sin's hard to play, so I don't know. Um, Alright, playing against discard aggro again. We'll see if we can do, you know, see if we can finish it off this time. We got a lot closer than I thought that we were going to our previous game against this deck. Um, especially with the start that they had. Alright, so I like, so turn two Arena Battlecaster. This is the, 
this is probably our, our best chance of winning a game so far. So far, so far, all three of our opponents have had, you know, good hands, good curves, all that kind of stuff. This is maybe the, the slowest hand we've seen. So I like our chances. Time for the main event. It's not dreaming, it's dreaming. Yeah, we do not we do not need to uh, frenzy skitter. Debating if we need to do that or not. Cool, got a couple of cards out of their hand for free. Doom Beast is a good one. So even if they use the spinning axe to, to have the Draven be able to block again, at least now Elise would uh, trade with it being a 3-3. Three -three. Lasagna is not that easy. It's not just ricotta cheese and noodles. You gotta have you gotta have like your marinara sauce or whatever, right? Like you gotta have sauce also. Spinning axe. Oh, it is a great day for a raggedy. Hmm. Bad. Chandler. Can I go down to four and survive? I want. I want to do. I want to do this because I don't want my fearsome skitter to die. And then I'm, because then I'm able to play Elise's Crawling Sensation and level up Elise. What are we looking at mana wise for next turn? Six is not enough for these two. need seven mana. I need a seven a mana. So five. Okay, so if we go um so we go arena battlecaster, kill elite or kill this thing, so we'd have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Battlecaster 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, but then one of these has to challenge. Ready to 
Oh no, come on, really? Immerse yourself in the Oh, come on. They just draw any, like, small thing. We're fine. Alright, let's try to avoid the 05. I guess we keep... So, we're gonna keep our, our two mana fearsome things. We're gonna mulligan unspeakable horror. Stalking shadows... I don't know. I guess we keep it. It's basically going to cost one mana, because we're going to have one spell mana. Oh, no. Well, I wish I would have mulliganed it. Because we can we can play Stalking Shadows and like one of these other two mana cards on turn three because of the spell mana. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, really rough start. The thing is, our deck actually feels pretty good. It doesn't feel very bad. Um, we've just played against tier 1 decks four times that have had awesome stuff. That last game, our opponent had a slow hand, but then they had Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, which were critical for them. Double Mystic Shot. And then the, even, like, you know, I thought that we were going to be winning, but then that last turn, that Augmented Experimenter was just perfect. Is another spark. But our decks felt pretty powerful. It's just everything has gone right for every opponent so far. And these games are really close. You know, like you. You play close games in Legends of Runeterra. This is the kind of stuff of everything's been going right. Another, another troll chant keeping their thing alive. Again. We got them down to eight right now. With a lot of opportunity for um, some fearsome stuff, especially with Stalking Shadows, maybe finding Wraith Crawler. Is it's good like we want to play the femoral wraith caller and chronicler of ruin it but that's uh that requires eight mana we're a long ways away from that Sure, why not?
So we get three damage across, put him down to five. Get to get rid of the vulnerable. No place for the card. I'll knock him dead. So let's see, what do we want to block? Get ready for a beatdown. So we can have Hapless Aristocrat block, because we're just going to cover Hapless Aristocrat back up. You have to get me out of here. So I think we're pretty safe from... A, oh wait, yeah, this is even an Atrocity deck, right? They're going to have a lot of Nexus healing, though. Alright, then we'll be going Doom Beast. And then going to be trying to open attack and maybe get a little bit more damage in. Because I, I expect them to have Nexus healings. They just always have Nexus healings. So I don't don't expect. Okay, no. Open attack would not get any damage in. That's how it's been. Our opponents have just, you know, had, like, just great stuff ever all the time. And not get through. So I guess I just have to force them to, you know, I can force them to have Nexus healing with just going Unspeakable Horror and Doom Beast. Um, and I think that's, I think that's my play. I pull the strings. You know, maybe one of those four cards, like maybe none of these four cards are Nexus healing. We can do three, three damage to the Nexus. Yeah, we're playing the exact list that that the that the person that donated for, donated. Um, Callista would make a lot of sense. Yeah, I like Callista. I mean, you could. I mean, you could play both. Right, like you wouldn't have to replace Elise with Callista. We only have one champion. So yeah, Callista would work. Yeah, I can change that combo. Sometimes people ask me to build them. Sometimes, or other times, they just play their. You know, they they have a list for me to play. What a tangled web! GGS. That was a rough five games, and it wasn't necessarily rough because our deck was bad. You know, our deck felt ser serviceable and perfectly fine, but, it, you know, it just did, it didn't quite feel on the level of the uh, Tier 1 decks, and we played five Tier 1 decks, and all five of them had awesome stuff. None of them stumbled, you know, like, they didn't, they didn't give us any kind of opening at all. Um... Yeah, I would go. Okay, so for for me, I would go. I would go with a little bit more power. I think that um, I, you know, the the cards I don't like in here are Fading Memories, Hapless Aristocrat. I don't. I don't think either of these cards are are very good, especially not Hapless Aristocrat. This like what you know, just one one body. This doesn't kill anybody. Like no nobody dies to this card. It's it's not strong enough. It's good. It's like a good defensive tool if you need it. But our deck is not trying to be defensive. So I think that for another one drop, we should head on over to Noxus and put Precious Pet in here instead. And then, um, let's see, I would want a second Vengeance and no Withering Whale. Um, Wither, yeah, Withering Whale is just not too necessary. We're, we're able to get in play often and stuff. And, um, you know, we had the one game that if, if the Withering Whale was a Vengeance, we would have won. But I'd rather just be playing Vengeance. Um, and then, uh, and then yeah, you could get, get some Callistas in here. 
Because we do, we do just need some more power, and Callista's powerful. I guess it's up here. And then we got three more slots. Probably want another Stygian Onlooker. Like Stygian Onlooker is an awesome card. Probably, probably just want three of those. And now you got two slots. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily mind Atrocity. I could see going with two Atrocities for the last two. Because, yeah, we need ways to just finish games. I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking Atrocity. I was also thinking maybe maybe even just playing some, you know, I know we don't want to play too, we really don't want to play too much Noxus stuff, but I was thinking about maybe playing like a couple Demolitionists for like two Demolitionists for the last part, how you can find Demolitionists with Stalking Shadows and it just can give you some more reach with Doom Beast and Demolitionist. But honestly, Atrocity would make a lot of sense in here because of our, our Mistwraith ability. Um, now, not playing Chronicler, like if we take out Chronicler of Ruin, that, that does mean that we're going to have less powerful Mistwraiths. Um, you know, we can make you know, fairly easily five, six, seven power Mistwraiths. And, and at the very worst, Atrocity for, can do four damage with Callista Wraithcaller. So at the very, very worst atrocities like decimate but it can get it can get bigger because that that should just give us some more damage output playing more precious pets and an onlooker in the fearsome you know for for the uh, one drop spot and Callista can do a lot of damage um So yeah, so then then these other two cards, I think they're they're things that probably need to be doing Nexus damage, whether you want to be playing Atrocity, whether you just want to play old school Decimate, um, or if you want something like Legion Grenadier or Imperial Demolitionist, that you want two of those. So that you know that would give you five total Noxus cards. Like I I, I think that you're you're okay playing Wraithcaller with five Noxus cards, um, if you play one of those. But if you if you just go Atrocity, you're you're still sticking with three. Um, so yeah, th those are just a couple of small things that I'd probably change here with the list. Um, but it did, it did feel like this deck, I don't, you know, I, what I am doing here is kind of turning it more into just a spider aggro deck, uh, which I guess I don't have, I don't have spider aggro up on my list right now, but it, it does kind of feel like a, a worse version of like the spider burn though, doesn't it? With... Spider Burn having like more Noxus cards and Decimates and and all that kind of stuff, um, and you know just lower to the ground. This did kind of feel like a, a worse version of that kind of deck. Um, all right, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.